Number 1. This Python project will dive into network traffic visualization using the Python program language, Wireshark and Google Maps. So this tool will cover the implementation steps needed to take a file uh, of network traffic and convert it into a visual presentation using Google Maps. So you will be able in this project to track where all traffic from your computer is going to or where all the traffic is coming from. Number two, in this Python project, we'll be looking into network information gathering. So we'll use a library that enable us to access in-map application information directly in our Python code. So we don't have to run the application, write to a file and then read it. Here we can access it directly. Number three, so in this Python project, we will learn how to build a Python script that can be used to scan a FTP server for anonymous access basically allowing general access to the server archives of information. So normally you need to have credentials for FTPs when you access them, but if the owner of the FTP hasn't uh, disabled the anonymous login, there's a high chance that you can actually access this using no credentials. Number four. So in this Python uh, project, we'll be creating a script that can be used for password cracking, uh, where we will crack has password which is also known as a dictionary attack. So this is the common uh, attack approach that hackers use when they have gotten access to a database of passwords. They are hashed, but we will learn how we can dehash them by having a dictionary of known passwords. Number five. So this Python project is about finding deleted files. So we'll build a script that can be used to find deleted files on a given operation system and sort them based on the user who deleted the file. So if you have gotten access to a computer or you just want to find some files that you might have deleted yourself, you can use the script to recover the files if somebody has tried to hidden uh, something on the computer. Number six, zip password cracker. So this script will uh, enable us to uh, crack uh, zip files that is password protected. So we will have uh, a list of passwords which is also referred to as a dictionary tag, similar to uh, the project number four. But here we'll use that dictionary tag approach to try to crack a uh, zip file that we have received that is password protected. So we'll create in this file, uh, this video, uh, a zip uh, that is protected, and then we'll just try to break it using our list of passwords. Number seven, here we'll try to brute force our way into FTP. So instead of uh, trying to use the anonymous login, which we saw on a previous project, we'll this time have a list of uh, known uh, usernames and passwords and simply just brute force our way by trying all uh, kind of combinations of these until we hopefully uh, hit the right uh, combination of user and password. Number eight, port scanner. So this script will allow us to scan a given server for open ports where a connection can be made. Usually you want to have all the ports that you don't use closed, but in most cases people uh, might leave a port open that allow an attacker to go through that port. So this can be used on your own server or to scan uh, a target server. Number nine, spam detection. So here we'll touch the area of machine learning to build a spam detection script that can be used on mails or a text block to de de detect whether uh, we are talking about a spam or a ham uh, text. So this can prevent uh, any malicious user to post some junk into your system if you're having a system that allows for user input. Number 10. So this is more like a bonus uh, project. It's not related to cyber security, but it's a cool uh, script that I would like to, to share with you. It's about algorithm trading and how you can uh, manipulate and work with stock data using Python. So this is uh, the last project that we have in this video. I hope you have enjoyed all of them. If you haven't seen it already, the 10 projects uh, videos to how to build each uh, Python project can be found in the description. So you can just pick the projects that you are most interested in and then go watch each of the videos where we'll go through step by step how you uh, will build the script. And of course there will be uh, examples and clips similar to what you have seen throughout this video which is just uh, illustrations of what each video will contain. So I hope you have liked the video. Remember to subscribe and then I will see you next time here on Vinslov Academy.